Man, I found it hard to pronounce Nitro Ferentwin, and I hope I did a good job. Hey there, welcome back to How to Medicate, and welcome to this third video on antibiotics. We already covered Augmentin and Amoxicillin. And you can find those videos in the description. And today we will be covering all the ins and outs of Nitro Furanterin. So let's get started. If you're meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul. I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and I'm making weekly medical videos to educate myself as well as you, my viewer. This video also comes with a little disclaimer. It's meant purely informative, this is not medical advice and if you're looking for medical advice, always contact your own doctor. Now the generic name of this medication is Nitro Furantoin but it comes under several brand names like Furabit, Macrobit, Macrodentin and Furadentin. And it's available as a powder for oral suspension or as capsules. Now then, how to use this medication? If you want to take the capsules, just swallow them with half a glass of water and make sure not to chew on them. If you want to use the oral powder, just suspend it in some water and drink it, that's all. Now always take the medicine at fixed times this makes it less likely that you forget a dose and always do so after or while eating something. This lowers your chances on stomach complaints. Now the duration of treatment depends on the severity of the infection and the location, but usually it's five to seven days, but in extreme cases it can be longer. Now it's also important to note that you should not interrupt or stop the treatment. You should finish it completely, even if your symptoms already have disappeared because this doesn't mean the bacteria have disappeared as well. So, finish your treatment. Now when to use nitro furantoin. It's important to know that it has a very low tissue penetration. This means that it only reaches therapeutic concentrations in your bladder, as this antibiotic is eliminated through your kidneys and your urine. So in your bladder and in your urinary tract, you have a very high concentration of this antibiotic and there it can do its work. Therefore, nitroferantoin is only used to treat acute lower urinary tract infections. And this brings us to the dosages. Again, I cannot give you the precise dosages and you should always use the prescribed dosages your doctor gave you. However, I can provide you with some guidelines. For adults and children older than 12 years, taking regular capsules or suspensions, the correct dose is 50 milligrams four times a day. And when you're taking modified release capsules, it's 100 milligrams two times a day. The treatment duration is usually five days for non-pregnant women, but it's seven days for pregnant women or for men. And have you forgotten a dose and it's less than four hours until your next dose? Then just skip it and take it at the end of your treatment. And this brings us to the side effects of nitroferantoin. I will discuss the most common ones here. Very commonly, so more than 10% of all patients will experience a super infection by a fungi or a resistant bacteria. This can cause additional complaints. Nitroferantoin can also cause a harmless high blood pressure in your brain and short-term spot baldness. Rarely it can cause a collapse, cyanosis, this is when your skin has a low oxygen level and therefore turns bluish, it can cause inflammation of your liver, nausea, loss of appetite, anemia and skin problems. Now regarding safety, nitroferantoin can be used with any type of food and even with alcohol. However, do not use it if you have serious renal impairments or when you're hypersensitive for nitroferans. And lastly, it is safe to use when pregnant or when breastfeeding. However, you should avoid it the last 30 days of pregnancy and although it is very rare, nitroferantoin can cause a hemolytic anemia in infants. Therefore, it is advised that you pay close attention during the first months of breastfeeding. If your child doesn't grow properly or if it is sick, then please contact your doctor. And this brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned how to use nitroferantoin and if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Man, I found it hard to pronounce nitro furantoin and I hope I did a good job, but I don't know for sure. Therefore, please leave a like for all my efforts. It will be greatly appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss next week's video. I will see you then. Bye bye. Oh yeah, help me reach 3k subs. Thank you.